Hey, welcome to this presentation of my summer uh, DIY project, which is an attempt to emulate a downwheel organ with a microcontroller. I'll start with a brief visit of the hardware stuff. That white board here is a ST Nucleo development board with a powerful H7 STM32 device. Then the second board is a custom PCB that has been developed to manage the display and the user interface. On the other side, uh, you'll find MIDI sockets here, and that board, which is the MIDI encoder that drives the keybed and translates keyboard action into MIDI messages. And that's the other end of the CPU board. So that's it. All the sound you will hear comes out a simple algorithmic synthesis of tone wheels and is processed in real time by the STM32 microcontroller. The user interface is based on a touch screen and a rotary encoder. Um, it has preset functions, so I can save and load presets. The first panel is the drawbars. So here, no drawbar is pulled, so you hear nothing. And I'm gonna pull drawbars one after one, and then we can hear the different harmonics from each drawbar. So let's change the configuration for something uh, less bright. You can transpose by octave or by semitones. Then you can add percussive sound. And even change the pitch of the percussion. Then you can add vibrato. And this one is controlled by the modulation wheel. And this is tremolo. You can add a little bit of distortion by driving the nonlinear hemp. I'm going back to uh, a registration with more uh, harmonic component. Too much drive. Okay. Then here's the delay. Now, 
Pulse Effect. Then we have a rotary speaker effect. And a flanger. And the last uh, panel is for mixing dry and wet signals. So wet is from the FX stage. And so far, the feedback into the delay line of the uh, effect has not been uh, implemented in the code. So the one thing I forgot maybe is to uh, illustrate the pitch band wheel. Well, if you're interested, you may visit my webpage. I put there uh, more details on that organ development and resource files, including board schematics and a link to project source code repository. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.